you can see that so far I've been concentrating on the darkest areas of the dog, uh, mainly the eyes and the ears. And when you're shading the ears, don't be afraid to go over the entire area to get another layer of graphite down. And it kind of pulls everything together and blends everything and makes it nice and smooth. And then this area now that I'm coming in, looking at negative spaces, drawing between the fur to get the darker lines to allow the lighter wisps of fur to stand out. And I'm going to continue on working in gentle lines, going kind of underneath the lighter lines, the lighter wisps of fur to bring them out so that I don't have to erase them and bringing out the patterns of the dog. So in areas like this, I want to leave this, the white of the paper, and shade various tones in here. So that's my next task. So as you can see, this is the next stage, and I've been adding tone in between the darker areas, leaving the lighter areas um, for the white highlights and the white flecks. If you find that you've gone over an area and you need to get that fleck back, use a putty eraser molded into a, a point and just gently rub over the area to pull off the graphite and then soften it back in with a pencil to bring up that area. So hopefully the flecks are starting to look a little bit like in the photograph here with the darker areas either side and the white flecks in the middle. If I go in slightly closer you can see a little bit more detail. Um, as in the previous um, video I just wanted to reiterate don't be afraid of shading over areas to soften them. I think that it really is key and that's something that some artists perhaps don't understand that they can do and you can use any um, kind of pencil. This is a HB graphite pencil Derwent which is fairly hard if you just wanted a small amount of graphite going over there. Um, Faber-Castell ones, the softer ones, this is a 4B, don't press too hard but that's obviously going to give you a, um, a better covering of graphite. It all just, just depends on how um, how dark you want your layer to be um, and doing this can really kind of knock back some of these sort of lighter um, areas because we've gone um, around the negative spaces leaving these white flecks of um, fur um, the white of the paper they they really do need blending and so sh uh, shading over them and shading over the entire area can knock them back because of course they're all going to be um, different strengths different tones so this area here these white flecks may not be as light as these ones here that are catching the light more due to the undulations um, of the dog's face so onwards and upwards and I shall get to the next section of the portrait. This is the finished drawing of Poppy and I wanted to show you the final stage along with viewing it next to the photograph as well. The photograph is coming out slightly too dark in the video but hopefully it should give you an idea of what Poppy looks like in comparison to the drawing. As you can see from uh, comparing from the last stage I've completed the nose and muzzle area and I've also completed the collar as well. On finishing the drawing I wanted to keep it quite light around this edge. Um, we don't want anything um, with two hard strokes or hard lines because we want to blend it um, into the paper so that the eye isn't drawn to that area. Um, we want the viewer to really look at the eyes, nose, the, the sort of features of Poppy um, and of course keeping the highlights nice and shiny in the collar as well as that kind of balances um, the whole portrait quite nicely. So I hope you feel that I've captured Poppy and I hope you have uh, been able to learn something uh, throughout the process that I've taken throughout my drawing journey. And I wish you the best of luck with your own drawings. Mm -hmm.